musical. Right. Thank you. Oh. First, we've got a bit what of a this place? tutorial ish Who? kind of section. Where it will introduce I? you to the main what? mechanics running, jumping, climbing these orange pattern walls. You're on the way past. The lady what? talking in your ear who tells you what to do. I must be dreaming. Something. That blue thing there. That's an anomaly. So that blue thing there, that's an anomaly. Um, basically, <laughs> you uh, hold space inside it and right. you get a little goose. I'm going to avoid that using the anomaly. Ooh, that was really good, actually. You're almost there. Don't stop. And we're done with the tutorial bit. <coughs> So we're out of the dream now. The lady's still talking to us. We get a new ability here, which is dashing by pressing shift. Uh, and that's very handy because you can conserve your momentum off of a ledge. Was that someone talking? As well as there's still someone jump. alive down here. Or I've finally gone uh, crazy. Like that. I'm starting to hear voices. You do a bit of crouching here. Oh, I missed it, but you can chain slides. Uh, and avoid like crouch walking just slightly faster. Ooh. 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 Right. There are also these walls with the blue pattern on them. You jump off those ones instead of all run on them or climb up them. Uh, so parkour is mostly to do with those kinds of walls. You would be introduced to another of the main mechanics of the game here, but instead we're going to do that and not see it. Oh, okay. I forgot that it shows me a tutorial. The first time you play the game on a new computer. <laughs> so that's fine. That's not a big deal. We'll just get an occasional cutscene. So there's a slide chain. Huh. Not bad. Um, you'll see these little orange markers. I've got to follow those. Um, if you miss one and. Uh, I lost my train of thought. If you miss one and you go ahead in the game without getting the one you need, then you have to go back and get it, and you lose a lot of time, because the game doesn't register your progress unless you hit the little orange markers. We're gonna fight a golem, kind of, um, except we aren't. Um, for some reason, that golem has a period where its invulnerability doesn't work before it starts its first attack. So you can grab the cube called a dry artifact out of its back before it turns red and you can't grab it. That's the only one it works for, but it's the only one we need, so... Uh, well, this is useless unless I have the right I'm artifact. I'm gonna bounce off that wall and, and climb up the scaffolding. Um, All right. And then go through yeah. and get this cutscene out of the way. Right. Oh! <laughs> Okay, we're going to talk to this old guy, and then we're going to put a mark down, which is essentially a teleport uh, device or ability, and then we're going to jump into the sea. Alright, give me a second. Tutorials, no. Thank you, thank you, everybody. Um, yeah, I, f I figured you should at least see it as I play, you know, not me going, oh my god, it's a tutorial every few minutes. Hey, that was easy. Right. Um, I'm going to walk up to this fountain and that refills my stamina, which is for dashes. Also refills your mark uses and your health. <coughs> Make that little jump through the window um, and go across here and get an artifact that isn't dry. It doesn't call it a wet artifact, but I guess that's what it is. Uh, oh, that one enabled that anomaly, so now we can hey, great. go to different places. But it expects us to be down here, so we've got to go and drop down to that. And then it takes a minute for the checkpoint to appear, yeah. so we've got to stand there. 
All right, what's next? I haven't been tracking the um, dialogue. I am not sure if it's said my favorite voice line yet. Um, but I will point it out when I see it. Oh, these are drones. Uh, you can run up behind them to disable them and they fall apart, but that takes time. So for the moment we're just climbing up here. There's a temple up here that we need to visit. Um, and the lady in our area will tell us uh, you've got to get these things called relics and put them in a shrine in the temple. Um, that's about, that's the main mission for most of the game. Oh, oh my god. Oh, where am I? Okay. If I dash while my stamina is filling up, um, mm -hmm. it will actually stop the stamina filling up, so I have to this wait for it to fill up either. completely before I try and dash again. Uh, okay. I don't like this cycle. Um, I'm going to do a boost jump off this anomaly here, and if you hit one of the... Um, drones in the air it can bonk you off the side and you fall all the way down and that loses a lot of time because your last spawn location okay. is and now? very far away uh, I put a mark out there we're going to be going out shortly yeah. alright lady talks to us I've got to go and open up this because you can't open it from the bottom unless you've opened it from the top already uh, and it's a useful shortcut later um, we're just going to do this instead of like everything else <laughs> so anomalies give you the same uh, little boost regardless of your uh, vertical momentum so you can cancel your fall and just uh, throw yourself off the cliff and now we're going to see the mechanic that we skipped earlier. So part of the lore of this game is that it's... Um, the world is on the brink of complete annihilation. Society's already collapsed. Uh, and that is in part to do with... I'll grab it now, why not? No, that's going to hurt me. That is in part to do with three planets that are uh, in close proximity to the Earth. That's one of them, that's the Gamma Planet. And each of them controls specific properties of the world. Uh, and Gamma Planet controls gravity. So all this stuff that's floating now wasn't floating a moment ago. Uh, it was just a big, vast space of nothingness. But now we can cross it. Luckily there's a piece of building that doesn't actually load in the first time you load this area on a new save file. All right, which is next? great because it makes this next jump a lot easier. Uh, and now we've skipped a lot of that. And now we're going to skip a lot more of that. Um, so I just picked up another All right, what's next? not dry artifact. And now we can slingshot to this other type of anomaly. It's very handy. And we'll let us break various things later. There we go. Okay, and now we're returning to the what the game calls the quiescent state, um, which is a long-winded way of right, saying what's next? the planets aren't influencing the Earth at the moment. All right, you're going to see another way you can conserve momentum through this game, and it's great, and I love it. You do that. So normally you'd have to climb all that, but you don't have to climb all that because if you press the look at checkpoint button and um, the look at checkpoint button and the slingshot button at the same time, you fly all the way up like that. And it's going to unload, so now I can't see where I'm aiming for. Uh, but let's be good at this. Oh no, I'm not good at it. Thankfully I saved at the bottom of it, so we're alright. Um, if you go too high up, it just unloads the scenery. Let's try and get this first try this time. 
Okay, that's better. That's better. My timing was just a little off. You can get that in one. Uh, so we picked up one of the relics just there. Yes! This old guy is going to talk to us again. We're going to not listen to what he says. I hope this isn't the last one of these. Uh, All right. And yeah, then no. we're going to go to that anomaly that you can't see because it's hidden in the clouds and we're going to use a zip line to go all the way back to where we started. Now we've got some more um, dry artifacts to pick up and then we're leaving this snowy place. Uh, and we won't be coming right. back. Nobody needs it. <laughs> Looks good. Well preserved. Huh. Alright. Interesting. Out I guess direction. somebody left this behind. Uh, nice. Hey, we're leaving here. Going through this loading zone resets your health to maximum, which is great because uh, if your health wasn't reset to maximum, you wouldn't be able to survive this. Uh, because you can see it uses up almost all of it. Oh. That looks clean. Um, we're going to throw ourselves over that fountain and get our stamina back. And we're going to go and put the relic down in the temple. Now that we've got the slingshot artifact, um, we can ignore all the climbing we did earlier. Let's go this way. I'm going to try and conserve a bit of my momentum, uh, and, but not all of it, by changing the timing of my button presses. The further apart the button presses are, the two things you need to press at the same time the less momentum you can serve. I had to wait there for that checkpoint to be there, otherwise that wasn't so bad. if you forget it, as I said, you lose a lot of time. We're going to use the uh, momentum slowing properties of the slingshot, how it's supposed to work, to be able to survive that. Um, the wall's there. And um, now in a lovely place. Oh, that was kind of nice. Normally those bricks block your way a bit more. Um, right, we're going over there. Please pay no mind to the tortoise. Uh, we will deal with her later. At the moment, she's she's not relevant. Done. Right, we're now going to activate the beta planet. And the beta planet, guess what that does in the lava world? It raises the temperature and the level of the lava. Um, we can do this. this, is my favourite jump in the game. And I missed it, so never mind. Uh, but anyway, you couldn't cross over this lake into the dark temple without hitting that, so you couldn't get that. It's a door. Alright, yeah. That's my favourite uh, voice line. I have a sort of love-hate relationship with it, because it makes me cringe, but it's kind of charming in a very off-kilter way. You lose health slowly if you don't have these blue lamps on. I'm going to abuse the weird grappling. Uh, grap I was going to abuse the. Oh my god. <laughs> oh dear. I was going to abuse the weird grabbing mechanics of this to skip a great big section of maze, but I failed. So hopefully I can try and replicate it and it won't be a disaster. If not, I know I can do this. Oh no, there we go, right. So for some reason you can kind of... Thank you. You can kind of store a grab there and jump up that. It actually skips the hardest part of the maze. There are two drones in your way. Their position is RNG and they can kill you easily. So you lose a lot of time from that. And it's very annoying. Alright, got it. Right, so we picked up another um, not dry artifact, or just artifact. Uh, we could, that one lets us spawn platforms, as you just saw. We could do the platform puzzle, or we could not. Um, and we're not going to, because why we do things the way the game wants us to. <laughs> um, instead, what we're going to do is demonstrate yet another form of momentum conservation, and that is slingshotting and then using the mark. And you can fly up here, all the way to this rock. And where's my checkpoint? 
Why is my checkpoint there? My checkpoint should not be there. That is not a good sign. Okay, one second. Let's figure this out. Sometimes this game does this, and it's strange. Right. Okay, I think I know what the game's doing. The game likes to bug out sometimes, and it will keep your checkpoint stuck at one of these machines, and thankfully it's doing that during my marathon run. Um, so I have to go and find a save point, and then quit to menu. But I don't know where the save point is. I'll go back to the start. Go to one over there. There is unfortunately no way to predict that happening. I, I don't know what causes it. It just happens. Right. Okay, hit the bell. Main menu. Through the thing. All right, let's find out how much of that you get to watch again. Um. Okay, right. I'm going to have to switch it back to this and pray that it doesn't just completely break on me. Please don't break on me. I have to wait a minute because it... It won't let me do the thing until it's done with, I don't know, whatever the machine is doing. So I have to hit this and eventually it will let me. Oh, thank God. Okay, right. That activated the checkpoint, which is excellent because we really needed it to do that. Otherwise, this entire file would have been soft locked and I would have had to start from the beginning. But we don't have to do that. So I can show you the rest of the game. Right, now, if I guess correctly, I will have already achieved the checkpoint. Nope, never mind. Okay. Right, yeah. it looks like you get to see all of this again. That's how you dismantle the drone. I hope you like dark temples. Because we've got all right, a next? lot of them. Well, we've got one of them, but a lot of it. We can do the thing and fail it again because there's joy in repetition. And now I can't figure out where I am. <laughs> right. Please let me do the thing. Okay. Where do you need me to go now? Over there. Alright, I think I know. I have no idea actually. Okay, right, I see. So I get to skip the artifact checkpoint now the last checkpoint is here. Okay, now we're back where we were uh, before the game decided to just throw something at me that I couldn't do anything about. Grab this, I need to refill my mark. Right, so you get to see some more cool momentum conservation. Uh, this time you get to see the fruits of our labour because we can progress. Oh dear, that's a bit high, so I'm gonna fail it. Okay, never mind. I wasn't prepared for it to go that high, that was my fault. Uh, that's fine though because it will save where our checkpoint actually is so I can just not do all of that a third time and go over here. Oh no wait, hold on. Preserves mark through death, so never mind. <laughs> Alright, there we go. We have to hit that checkpoint on that rock. 
Uh, you can only activate one of these at a time, so I'm activating them all mid-jump. Gonna grab our second relic, and grab that. Wait for the checkpoint, Get talk to the guy, and fall down here because we respawn over there, as we've seen uh, a few times already. Um, and then we can make our way out. But mm -hmm. first, actually, before we make our way out, we have to talk to the tortoise. Okay, we'll talk to the tortoise. Right. So you can talk to that tortoise twice. All right. The first time, mm -hmm. it will just talk to you as soon as you're within range of its face. The second time, you have to click on its face uh, to get it to talk to you. But that range is slightly bigger. So I skipped the first time the tortoise talks to you. Uh, by staying out of that automatic range and only used the tortoise's second line of dialogue which is actually attached to a checkpoint so I had to only do that one uh, and then we can leave there's a drone Back to the shrine, second relic. Same deal. Oh! Well, it would have been the same deal, but we're down here. That's fine. We can get back up. Although it took me a minute to remember, but I don't really have to do that. There we go. Right. That was nice. Hey. By the way, if you stand on the relics, you spin around with them. Alright. And now what? Okay, so the checkpoint's over here. Go and get it. Hit the fountain again, because well, we need both marks for the next bit. Good. The wall's vanishing. There are a lot of interesting things that this guy says when he um, dissipates a light gate. Sometimes he calls it a door, sometimes he calls it a wall. We could, that guy, the old guy doesn't say much there, so we can jump all the way to this trigger. This is where you would see the Alpha Planet. And in fact, there are three different challenges. Uh, one for each planet. Go and refill my health because I don't trust that. Um, there are three different challenges. There are one for each planet, but we're not going to do any of them. So you aren't going to see the Alpha Planet. Sorry, the Alpha Planet raises the water level, uh, by the way, which makes these islands look more like islands. Down, too far down. The collision on these is wonky because it's out of bounds and you're not supposed to stand on any of these. So that's the end of one challenge. Oh, almost. That's the end of the other challenge. And the end of the final challenge is here. So let's collect our relic. This is the lady we've been talking to. She's been trapped all this time. And, oh no, she tricked us. If you had listened to the old man, he would have basically told you that without saying it exactly. But it would have been very clear to you, but you didn't listen to him, so now you have to go and fight her for the relics. Uh, so this is the um, first and last boss fight of this game. Uh, we've got to steal the relics back from the lady. Uh, the old man calls her a stinky bird because it's not it's not sexist. She has like a bird a bird's head. Um, <laughs> although admittedly, the look of it isn't great. If you don't know that, uh, so we're going to fight her. There's going to be a lot happening, and most of it I'm probably going to have to explain after it's done. Time will be when I put the last relic up on that shrine. Thank you. 
get ready on time. Oh, never mind. Momentum for this is weird because it's trying to shoot you away from the thing. And oh, let's do that. Okay, I've never done that before. Right. Time. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. That's downward. Uh, what?